Hello everyone, welcome back to Beads and Banter. Um, lovely to see you all. I can see that there's 20 of you watching at the moment. Um, so welcome. I've got a lovely make for you today um, using, um, let me just swap hands actually with the camera because I'm wearing it. And that's what, no, actually I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take it off. I've got a lovely make for you today using Montes, because a few of you asked me if I could do a nice beads and banter with Montes, so I have, and I've created this lovely, lovely um, bracelet for you all, um, which looks very Bollywood, it's really sparkly, um, it's very dainty, um, and I had lots of fun designing it. Um, I'll show you my um, my workspace in a minute because it's a complete mess because I've spent the whole morning designing this and I haven't even had a chance to write up the pattern yet. Um, hello, Elaine. Um, so I will write off the, up the pattern straight after this live and I'll have that as a free download for you on the site um, just as soon as I can. So watch this space. Hi Nicola, hi Anita, good morning to you, good afternoon here in, in the UK. Um, hi guys, hi Sylvia, hi Elizabeth. Um, I've got my fave earrings on again today, love these ones. Um, so um, I am going to get making, show you guys how to make this beautiful Monty bracelet. It actually, when, it, when you see it in a minute on the bead mat, it's gorgeous. It really, it looks like something from um, like a jeweler's, I think. It's really, really stunning. Hi, hi Elizabeth. Um, so let me um, flip the camera down so you guys can see. Hi, Linda in South Carolina. Um, and so you guys can see my workspace and um, and see this lovely bracelet up close. Um, excuse me, it clashes horribly with my nails, doesn't it? Um, I, but I did love making it in this fuchsia, which makes it even more Bollywoody. Um, so I'm going to talk you through making it all. Um, hi, Brian. How are you? Um, and uh, yeah, we will get making. Okay, here we go. Here we go, guys. Okay. Here we are. You can't find your Monty's. Oh no, Sylvia. <laughs> okay. So this is the lovely bracelet. Hi, Anita. Um, and um, yeah, I think it looks really, really pretty. Oh, I'm glad your order came quickly, Miranda. Um, so it does look like, I think, like something from the jewellers when you see it on a wrist. It's really pretty. Isn't that stunning? Um, and this is it's very dainty as well. Now you could, if you wanted to, you could make a few of them and stack them up. The other thing is because of the way that this design works, you could even kind of make double rows like that and sort of make something more like a cuff. Um, so you can have a little bit of fun, hopefully playing with this design. It is very simple. You see, I've just got three components here. Um, so, um, should be, um, hopefully something that, you know, at least some of you will already have the bits and pieces that you need to make these. Hi, Melanie. Oh, I'm glad you like it, Anita. Actually, before I go on, I did say to you, I'd show you my messy workspace. So I spent the morning designing and, um, I'm just going to bring over my messy, um, my breath messy workspace so this is this is my <laughs> my complete messy workspace because you can see i started off playing with the gem duos and i was trying to cheat team up the gem duos and the montes and it wasn't working for me so i've got lots of bits of cut up fireline thread there um and i've finally come up with this design which i'm really really happy with actually um i think it's just lovely and dainty and nice and simple um, so, um, yeah, have a go. Pull out your Montes if you've got Montes. Hi, Chris. Um, welcome to Bees and Banter. We, we meet up every, um, every day at about three o'clock UK time and we do some lovely beading together. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm going to show you how, guys how to make this. Um, I've got four millimetre Montes here and this colour here is called um, Blue Zircon. Hi, Jeanette. Hi, Emily. Um, what's the best size needle, Emily says, for size 11s? Definitely go for a size 10 beading needle, Emily, um, because that will be fine for size 11s. Um, so um, I'm working with a size 10 beading needle today, um, and it's actually going to work with my 11s and my 15s. Um, but um, you could, with this design, go down to a size 12, but I like to work with the biggest needle possible. Um, so size 12 beading needle is smaller than the size 10, so I'm working with a size 10 because I love this. 
Um, <clears throat> so, um, I have got my four millimeter Montes. Oh, you found them, Sylvia. Hurrah! <laughs> four millimeter Montes, and then I've got um, size 15 and size 11 seed beads. And because this is so dainty, this little bracelet, I'm using just one of these little ball and socket push push or push button clasps um, because it's nice and dainty and I don't want the clasp to be big and heavy and overwhelm the piece. Um, Elizabeth's asking how many Montes you need. Um, well, this bracelet here fits me. It's a little, probably maybe even a tiny bit big for me. Um, so, and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 20, so I've got 22 Montes along my um, bracelet here, 22 four millimeter Montes to make this bracelet. And that's going to be about sort of seven and a half inches long. So you might um, want to make it a little bit longer or a little bit shorter. Um, but it is, it is really pretty. I'm really pleased with it. They are reliable, Chris. Yeah, those clasps. Then they are, they do up with, let me just show you guys. You've got the ball so, and then you've got the socket and you just push the push the two together and um, and they sort of just click into place. Um, so they are reliable um, and, um, and you know, they're just not, they don't sort of, they don't get, they're not too heavy, which is great on something that's just nice and light and delicate like this. Um, yeah, they're just the right size, Elizabeth. So um, I'm going to show you guys how to do this um, and then I shall go away and write up the pattern and pop the pattern on our website um, um, which is spoiltrottenbeads.co.uk if you guys are new to us um, and I'll put it on as a free download for you all. <clears throat> Just sneaking a coffee break to join. Uh... <laughs> Okay, so um, I'm going to start off with a size 15, a size 11, whoa, there we go, and size 15 on my needle. So I've got a 15, an 11, and a 15. Do any Montes work or three or mil, four mil fire polish? You can't use three or four mil fire polish because um, it won't work because you won't have the right number of holes. Because if I just flip over these Montes, a Monty. If you've not worked with them before, you'll see they've got four holes. You see that there's four holes in the back of that, and that's what allows us to make this pattern here. Because if I flip this over, you'll see all four holes of those Montes are being used. So you do need something with the four holes on it, um, and the um, yeah, you won't be able to use a fire polish. So you do need um, a um, a Monte to do this. It's really rainy here as well, Nicola. It's horrible here. It's kind of turned back to winter again. You want to light the fire and get all cosy. I think at the moment. So I'm um, I'm threading on these three beads here, and then I'm going to thread on my Monte, and. I'm going to thread it on and then let you guys see. I'm going across the short edge of the Monty there through those two holes. So right across the corner. Okay. All right. And it will look like that. It is pretty, isn't it, Anne? Okay. And then I'm just going to go back through... back through all of those beads one more time. <clears throat> I'm just going to get my tailor thread out of the way. Okay, and when I do, then those are going to kind of slip around the beads, okay? Like that. Nickel would look nice. Nickel would look lovely wouldn't be so blingy it would look good and I'm just going to go through those seed beads one more time because that's just because this is the beginning here it's just going to hold it all in place so I'm going to go through the seed beads and then through the Monte again but this time if I flip it over you'll see I'm going through can you see there I'm going through that corner there a rainy day in Pennsylvania says Linda sounds like it's raining with everybody at the moment Okay, and pull this through. Let you guys take a look at that and it will look like that. Okay. 
So that's where we are now. Now I'm going to pick up another um, 15, 11 and another 15. It is pretty, isn't it, Corinne? I really, really like this design. Um, I've got an exciting little plan for this, which somebody else at Small Rotten Beads is going to work on for us very soon. And I hope to show it to you soon. So watch this space with, and we're, we're going to work on this design, do something really fun with it. Um, and I'm going back through that Monty again. Again, see, I'm going just through that little short space there. And then you get that. Okay. Dark bronze with green Montee, says Linda. That would be beautiful. You're having a pyjama day. Lucky you, Caroline. I can't have those because I do beads and banter, so I've got to get dressed. <laughs> okay, so now I've picked up another 15, 11 and uh, 15. Okay. And I'm going to take this up so you guys can see, up to the camera there so you guys can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to go again back through the Monty. And I will work my way through it. And this is where I probably should be using a smaller needle, but, uh, you know, it works with a 10. So I'm going back through the Monty there. Yeah, it will work up quite quickly. Pull tight. Yeah, <laughs> I could have my PJs on, you're right. And then I'm just going to go through those three seed beads that I just added one more time. Um, and through the Monty again. Okay. If I just flip the Monty over, you can see which hole I'm going through, hopefully. Okay. And you guess what I'm going to do now. I'm going to pick up my 15, 11 and my 15. And go back through the Monty again. The new membership packs haven't shipped yet, Bernadette. They should be picked, the first 100 or so should be shipping next week. And then we're waiting for um, another shipment of... Um, of um, boards to come with us come to us so um, they're working as quick as they can making those boards they're made by um, a lovely lady here in the UK actually um, and she is they're all handmade and she's made just the first hundred and she's working really hard to make because then once your um, member packs are on their way we'll let you know um, that would make nice earrings Lois they're right okay so I'm now going to stitch through just the seed bead so that I pop out of this 11 right here on this side. And this kind of just zips the design up a bit. Okay, and it just makes those seed beads sit nice and neatly. What size is the closure? I think, I think it's about, about eight mil, I reckon. Okay, and back through that 11 there. Okay, I shall pop that down. And it just makes a really pretty little component like that. I mean, this is why I think this really looks, it does look like something out, at first glance, you know, it looks like something out of a jeweler's, doesn't it? It looks like it would cost a fortune um, because um, it's nice and delicate and the seed beads are just framing those Montees really prettily. Um, and now what I'm going to do is, so the next component shares this size 11. So I'm just going to pick up a 15. Don't worry, Sarah, you can, you can watch this on the replay. And then go back through that Monty. Thank you, Donna. It does look like a tennis bracelet. Okay, so I've picked up a 15, gone through that Monty. And then I'm going to go pick up another 15 and go back through that 11 that this next component is going to share with the first one. Okay, and it zips up. Okay. 
And then I'm just going to go through the next 15 and the Monty. Just going to pause and let you guys see what I'm doing there. So I'm now exiting the Monty here and I'm just going to pick up that 11, sorry, that 15, 11, 15. Have I done anything? Yeah, I have done some of uh, that, that lovely bracelet that I, um, the crystal matrix cuff that I bought, that I showed you guys yesterday. That's by Melanie de Miguel. That's Hubble. Um, and this is where I find it easier to turn my piece over because I can see the holes in the Montes. Um, and I'm going to go back through that Monte there. Your order arrived. Yay. Hurrah. And pull tight. Okay. Turn it over so you guys can see the sparkly side. Um, and once more, see, it's just, you can see the little pattern. It's just 11, sorry, 15, 11, 15. And then back through the Monte so that that loops around. So I'll go back through the Monte there. Back through the Monte. And that will loop around. And then I'm going to go back through those three seed beads that I just added. And through the Monty. This is where it's a bit of a wiggle because I, as I say, I probably should be using a smaller needle, but I just really like using size 10 needles. <laughs> okay. 15, 11, 15, and back through the Monty again. And then I'm going to go back through the 15 and the 11, and that it shares with the previous component. Mm, doesn't want to go through there. Switch to a smaller needle, Juliet. It would make a lovely Mother's Day gift. You're right. Okay, and then just flip it over so you guys can see. I'm just going to zip it up now just by going back through all of those seed beads again and coming out of my neck, my 11 right here. So I'm ready to continue adding those units there. So it does bead up relatively quickly, actually. It's just so effective. You could do a, like a little dangly earring like that. Well, now you know what to do with your Montees, don't you, Janice? And of course, there's our wonderful Fake It ring, which is super duper popular, that design. So um, have a look at that on our YouTube channel if you haven't already, um, if you've got Montees, because um, that is really stunning, that ring. And that just uses three Montees, but it's very, very pretty. So it's easier when you flip the piece over to see the holes on the Montes and the seed beads. But of course, then you don't get the joy of the sparkle, do you? Um, so have a look at those two together. See, so you could mix up the colors, um, which I think would be really, really pretty. Um, yeah, the ring is lovely, isn't it, Sarah? You made that ring. Yeah, it's very popular, that design. Um, so you can see how that is now beading up really quite nicely and relatively quickly as well. Um, and you just keep on adding those units in the same way. And I just find, as a little tip, I find it easier to put my Monty down so that I can kind of eyeball it and know which hole to go through so that I don't end up with it the wrong way up. So that's 15, Monty, 15, and then back through that 11 again. It's gone so dark here. It's like, I think there's gonna be a massive thunderstorm. Uh, no, these are uh, just our regular colors of, of Monty. Um, Donna, we've, we've had these for a little while. They are, um, that's fuchsia and this one is blue zircon. And then the seed beads I'm working with today are all Toho's um, and they are the um, Starlight. So I've got Starlight in both the 
um, 15 and in the um, and in the 11 in here. Um, Starlight's one of my favourite colours. Big storm in Cottenham. That's only down the road from us, Judith. Well, I think it must be heading our way because it's just come over so dark here in Hattenham. Um So... You get to leave the house, yay! <laughs> oh, it's crazy, isn't it, Lois? The things we get excited about nowadays. They are really lovely colours, Donna. I, I think they're very Bollywoody, these colours, actually, especially with the gold. Yeah, you love the starlight, someone else just said. It's a really nice colour. It's it's a lovely gold. It's not a brassy gold. It's a really pretty, really pretty gold. Mm -hmm. So you can see how, I just think, if you stacked up a few colourways um, and just... You know, you don't even have to join them. You could just wear them all together. They would look really, really pretty. Um, and what I can do, if you would like, is just slip a needle onto my tail of thread here and show you guys how I attach the clasp so you can get a demo of that. It's very simple. Um, so if you'd like me to do that, then just shout and I will. Um, and then... You will be away and hopefully you'll be uh, making these lovely sparkly bracelets um, today if you've got your Montes and your, and your seed beads. It's absolutely pouring down here. What kind of class are they, Cesara? So they're, they're, these little, um, they're these little push button clasps here. Um, and so you get this kind of, yes, please to the classes. You get this bit here, which has got the kind of bobble on it. And then you get, um, and then you get the other side, which the bobble just pops through. And they're just nice and neat and sort of not too um, cumbersome. And they're not, they're not, they're not magnetic. No, um, they are just, you know, they just work on that little push mechanism, but they're just nice and light. And sometimes on a bracelet, you don't want a big toggle or a, um, anything super chunky. You just want a nice little delicate clasp, ball and socket clasp, says Linda. That's exactly what they are. Um, like a snap, yeah, just like a snap. I think we call them poppers in the UK. Like a popper, says Sarah, yes. So um, I'll finish this little component here and then I will show you guys the... Um, actually, I won't finish this component. Um, I'm just going to... I'm going to come back to this because I can see a mistake I've made. Because I was chatting away, I picked up two 15s here, so I'm going to need to undo that. Um, so um, what I shall do is show you guys how to attach the clasp now because um, then I can undo that in my own time. Um, but I will just, let me just take this up to the camera again because I just think once you see it up close, you just see how pretty it is and how it's just, I'm so pleased with this one, how it's turned out. It just looks so pretty on. Okay, so let me thread up my tail of thread now and show you guys just how I've attached the clasp there. Okay, so I've threaded up my tail of thread and I am just going to go back to that exit out of that size N size 11, size 11 there. Yeah, through that size 11, yeah. So I want to be exiting from that size 11 at the end. I'm going to pick up two 15s. Okay, and grab my clasp. Go through 
one of the loops on my clasp and then go back through that, just that last one, size 15 that I added. My doggies are very quiet, aren't they? They are being good boys, which is unusual. Um, <laughs> I picked up another 15 and then I'm going back through that size 11. And I'm going to pull it all tight and you'll see it kind of mirrors the, the join on the rest of the piece. And it's just a really nice, neat way of, fit, of attaching that clasp without, you know, big loops of seed beads. And what you can do is just go back through everything again, just to add some, some strength to that clasp loop um, because... Um, that is going to be the point of your piece. It's going to get the most wear. So just work my way back through those beads again. Like that. And that is my clasp. Nice, neat clasp loop there. Um, it's not all big and chunky fits really nicely with the daintiness I think of this bracelet and then I can just finish off this tail of thread um, just by stitching between a few beads and tying some half hitch knots there. So that's just a nice neat way to to add those clasps. I'll pop that in the free pattern as well. So um, I will go away, make myself a cup of tea and uh, write up this pattern for you all and pop it on the home page of the site um, just as soon as it is done um, and yeah hopefully I'll have another another little take on this to show you in a few days and um, I shall bring it along to beads and banter. So my next task now is to continue with what I've been trying to do all week which is to find a way to bezel those new beautiful Swarovski crystal step cut stones that I showed you um, on Monday in Beads and Banter when I did the live unboxing. I've been working on them all week and I have not been successful, I'm not going to lie. Um, so um, I'm still going to work on them. Hopefully I'll have something to show you tomorrow. If not, I don't know what I shall do, actually. I shall have to find something else to do in Beads and Banter if I can't get that to work. Um, so um, I can now trim off that tail of thread. And um, yeah, I think they look really pretty, don't they? Pull out the Montes. You do that, Anita. And, uh, you know, show us what you make. Look at that colour. Isn't that going to be pretty? It's going to be lovely. Peyote with a twist, says Linda. Oh, that's a challenge. I love my peyote with a twist. I'm not sure how I feel about demoing it live. I have to, I will have to get myself back in the practice again for, to do that. But, you know, I will think about that, see how brave I'm feeling. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to go away and write up this lovely pattern for you guys now. Um, I'll pop it as a link um, on this video when I'm done as well, so you'll be able to find it nice and easily. Get one of my team to help, says Elizabeth. Yes, I could do that. I could. Yeah, why not? Becky, you're out there, you're watching today. <laughs> Becky's done lots of lovely peyote with a twist. Um, where did I get my cutter? Um, I don't know if they do these anymore. These are really cool. They're called clover, um, clover thread cutters. Um, and in between all of these teeth here is the blade. And um, they're great because... Um, the children can't steal them and use them to cut paper with, which means that the blades stay nice and sharp. <laughs> That's the main thing I love about them. Um, and But I don't know if you can get them anymore. I don't know if they still do them. I certainly can't find them from our suppliers, um, but um, you may be able to find them online somewhere. So it's called a clover thread cutter. And um, yeah, I like them because nobody else can steal them and make them blunt. <laughs> um, so there you go. There's your lovely Monty um, bracelet. Have a go. Um, post what you make um, on our Facebook page. Two hole. They are, well, I guess they are two hole or four hole. I guess they, they've got four holes in them, Elizabeth. Um, but I guess, I think that people kind of refer to them as two hole because I guess they would think that that would be one hole from one side to the other there or from one side to the other 
there. But really, they are four, they have got four holes, but they're referred to as two hole. Um, so, um, oh, Amazon has some Cesara, so you can get your th clover thread cutters from Amazon. Um, they are they are really really handy to have. Um, oh, and eBay, everyone's finding them. That's cool. So you can still get those clover thread cutters. Um, so yeah, I'd recommend those. So um, have have a you know have a try. Um, I'll pop that pattern on when I'm done and please do you know share the colors that you make this in um over on our Facebook page because it's always lovely to see what you guys are all up to and um I'll see you back tomorrow and um hopefully I'll be doing something with the lovely step cut stones um but uh, who knows <laughs> okay have a lovely rest of the rest of the day guys bye